Alors là. It's water. It's a bit of a cup of German Shepherds. Oh. See who's coming on. I'm five minutes early. I am five minutes early. So let me get plugged in and stuff. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sidi. Hey, we have one person. Woohoo. Woohoo. Three now. Say hi. Hi, Steph. How are you? Oh, watery eyes. Trimmed my fringe this morning. I've got hair stuck in my eyes. Hi, Helen. How are you? Hope you're well. I hope you're well. Let me get cleared out a little bit. How is everybody? Morning, Angela. I'm early as well. <laughs> Flight woohoo. Right. So, it's not a long live this morning because um, I need to get ready and be out. Well, I'm already ready. I just need to get out my pyjamas. Morning, Barbara. Um, I need to get out my pyjamas. Hi, hi, hi. And um, get clothes on. Because we're going to bowling. Bowls, sorry. At the bowls club. Bowling green. <laughs> so I'll be absolutely shattered tomorrow. But you know what? I don't care. Uh, just munching on sweets to get blood sugars up. Good lasts. Hi, Lorraine. How are you, honey? So this is the last page of this little six by six um, ring binder type album. So I thought I would use some acetate on it to be different. Come on, close up. Ta -da! And we're going to, hiya Tracy Han. We're going to um, start decorating it as well. Not an awful lot the now because I've not got that much prep to be honest. Because there's a busy lady this week. So I have some, some little bits and bobs to decorate it with. Like, you are amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Right, so. Um, how is everyone? You all right? Look at my new kit. Hi, Karen. Look at this. This is the um, Nourish and Flourish card kit, which um, has pop-outs and stuff like that um, with sentiments in French, German and English. So if you're either of those nationalities, you can purchase this through me. And then you get it in this gorgeous um, tote bag, a lunch bag. You all know I love my branded stuff, so... Um, yeah, it's really, really pretty. And it fits one of my teammates, um, Heidi. Um, got quite a few something special G&Ts in here. <laughs> I was like, oh my. Picnic at the park. Plenty of room for G&T tinnies. So I'm so happy I got that. Steph's getting hers on Tuesday, aren't you, sweet? Yeah. Can't wait till Tuesday. That's brilliant. My tummy's going to start rumbling. Ah! Not good. Right, I'm going to find my live on my other phone. Um, just because I need to find it now. And I always forget how to work going from the iPhone back to the Android. It's annoying. Hi, Madeline. How are you? I um, should have more people coming on now because it's 10. Hi, Karen. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, I'm getting a bit itchy. I think I might be allergic to my makeup powder or something just typical my eyes are probably watering because i've got mascara on <laughs> oh here i'm live turn it down turn it down turn it down hi carol we've got steve carol we've got barbara and karen and helen awesome 
Good, good, good. Exciting stuff. Um, right, so as you know, we've been using the Sun Prince collection, which is just amazing. This was one of my kits the other month, so some of my lovely crafty friends and customers have got this. Um, it's just gorgeous. I need to play with the stamp set more and the dies. Um, but that's on page 90. Um, it's 72.75. Hi, Jean, for the full suite. And remember, if you spend £45, you'll get a free item. Multiples of 45 you get a free item per multiple. And what else we've got? We've got July's Hostess Code. If, if, is, this, is this the right way round to you? Because it's backwards to me. Uh, so I'm going to try and read it. A3C7W2PN. Result. That is the Hostess Code for this month. Remember, we've got the... Um, Mystery, fully inclusive kit. I'm not showing you the other side because you'll see the name. Fully inclusive kit, stamp set, block, a little ink. Um, this is a giveaway for July. I've had, I think it's about 50 shares of the original post. Hi, Sonia. I have had um, 50 shares of the original post, but I can only see half of them because when you share it, if your profile's private, unfortunately, I can't see who's shared um, and I know a lot of people have said they've shared, but I need to actually physically be able to see that you've shared just in case someone's said they've shared and forgot to share, if you know what I mean. Um, so do set that to, to public so I can see it. However, you will still get the entry for the free free entry for your comment. And then those that shopped online in July, um, the, um, you get another five free entries. So potentially up to eight to win that mystery kit. And Carol uh, was lucky to win the scoring tool that was last month's giveaway, which I will send out at the end of month, honey. Um, it's quite a big box, so it's quite a bit to post out. So, da -da, look at the size of it. So that's going to Carol soon, so it's by me feet so that I don't forget about it. Uh, thanks, Sonia, that's kind of you. Um... So, yeah, good, good. Right, well, I'll just um, I'll flip you around in a wee second. I just want to see, though, um, the planner that's free when you buy the starter kit is just amazing. I'm, I'm going to bang on about it because, I kid you not, I've never been so organised in my life. And I've got a few planners. I've put them away now because I don't use them, um, but I do use this. And because it's stamping up, it's made me really organised. So I am, um, uh, yeah, so I've got like next week's um, planner pages here. So, um, yeah, and we've got lots of branded stuff, like we've got these gorgeous little notepads and things like that, that you can buy if you're a demonstrator. So it's all good, all good. Right, hi Trisha, how are you? So, um, so yeah. If anybody wants to join my team and treat yourself to the starter kit, if you want to chat about it, just let me know. There's no pressure to do anything afterwards. Obviously, it's really good to get business builders um, that I can help to build their business because that's a good part of being a team um, team leader as well. So, however, lots of hobbies, hobby, hobby, and discount shoppers on my team as well, which is awesome. And everybody's treated the same. Um, maybe they're just here for a flying visit, long term, or what have you. Uh, Steph's planners all full for next week. I need a week's break, bless. <laughs> well, I won't be on Facebook later on, and I will not be on Sunday probably. I've been quite good at having a break on a Sunday, and then just um, having a little nosy at night time. Um, so it's really good. Because um, you could sit on it constantly. You could. Right, well, I'll flip you guys round. Do, 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 do. Okay, you're going to see my yucky wall and my bright light. Whoops. Right, let's get this in here. So, it was at Ikea yesterday with my son. Hey, what's going on? Can you see? Can you see? It's on the walk a wee bit. Does that go that way? Right, that looks straight, so let's see if my phone says so. 
Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Bring some more light into the equation. Let me give you a wee close-up of this kit first, guys, because it's just gorgeous. So it's like a canvas bag, insulated with a kind of cool, keep warm or keep cool um, insulation in there. And this is the gorgeous kit. Will I just quickly open it? I know I said it's supposed to be a quick live today, but can't help myself. So this is a card making kit. You don't need inks or stamps for this because it comes with the die cuts and it comes with instructions. So you get dimensionals, gorgeous little perils. Wow. We've got envelopes. So one, two, three, three garden green that looks like. Three soft sea foam and three... I think that's petal pink, possibly. Ooh! Hi Yvonne, hi Wendy, hi Jean. Look at these cards, they're embossed. I forgot about that. One of my teammates, um, Kirsten, had showed me her kit. Oh, I'm in mid-tummy rumble there. Right, so, these are the little die-cut pop-outs you get. Just saying hello, I appreciate you more than you know. I'm just so lucky to know you. These are great for taking away in the caravan. Hi, Pauline. So there's one, two, three of those. So that's good. Take away in the caravan. Pop it um, in your bag if you're going on holiday, if you like to craft when you're away. This one's cool. This is like geometric um, embossed. They're really, really good thick cards. Um, right, hang on. So we've got... So lucky to know you, three of those, three appreciation ones, and three hello. And then on this one, we've got French, Dutch, and German. That's what it is. So if you have any friends across the pond, you could use those as well. I quite like a card with French on it because I I used to um, speak fluent French at school and I was doing my hires, but like anything, you lose it. Um. This is gorgeous as well. I'd, I'd love to go back. Hi, Dawn. I'd love to go back and um, learn French again. I think I could um, read what it says. I just can't... Oh, wow. Look at all the glue dots for this one. Awesome. I just can't think to write kind of thing. These are all little pop-outs. There's one, two, three sheets of those as well. We've got little banners. These are actually stickers. Um, they're really sticky, so you be careful when you put them down. So there's one sheet of that. Is it one or is it stuck together? They're one. Good, good, good. So they're very, very pretty. And of course you can do anything you want with them. You don't need to go buy the book. Um, good bit of grey board in there for doing albums and things. And with all of our kits you always get the, um, the instructions on how to make them. So if you're a beginner, honestly guys, these are so easy to follow. And your cards will turn out like that. Simple. Easy peasy. So, this one is more than the usual um, 18 to £22 pound, um, because of the, the lovely bag you get with it. So that one is does cost a little bit more. So, right, onto this little album. Right, let's um, recap. So we have the front cover which is using the Sun Prints Designer Series paper. We've got a little pocket and a little pull out. And we have this with a little magnet that pulls out. In here we have a little notebook that we need. Goes under the belly band. Um, so that was page one. Page two is a little um, waterfall. Gorgeous. In here is a gatefold, I think this one is. Seems like ages. I did miss you guys last week. This is a... This is a crinkle seam, seam ribbon. Oh, yes. This is the um, one, two, three gatefold. And you can put little mini photos in here or notes or journaling or anything. Um, and these ring reinforcers, I just punched a single hole... And then I went over it with my half an inch retired stamping up um, punch, circle punch. Come on, you little knight. 
Oh, thank you, Trisha. Trisha's seen it so pretty. Morning, Anne. And then we have this page that we're going to fill. And then we've got a duplicate pocket on the back with a little pull-out. So, if you're crafting along, I've already got my matte layers on. Um, I'd said about putting a five and three quarter piece of DSP on there. I'm going to remove this page the now. Um, you actually need to trim it down a little bit more because I forgot I had my matte layer on there. So let's take this off. Come on, don't be shy. Shift that out of the way. So if I take a quarter of an inch off, um, or even an eighth of an inch, so we can see the border, I'm still going to be able to punch through the holes. So, let's do this. So I'm going to trim this to, what was it, five and a half? No, five and three quarters it was. So if I trim it to five and five eighths, Yep. Oh, I'm going to take it off the other side though. So five and five eighths. See how good it is at taking off little teeny, teeny, teeny bits. This trim art is awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, brilliant. So that's good. So all we need to do, make sure it's the right way around. And we're going to stick this down. This is one of the really prettiest prints in the whole of this designer series pack. It's just awesome. Um, and I'm using that on this page because we're putting a acetate pocket on it. Well, pocket rocket time. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that on. It's just the tiniest, tiniest little border, like I say. Right, that's good. Now, I found this in my craft cupboard at the town hall. It's just a cheapy hole punch, so I'm going to use that. I think it'll fit. No, it won't. I'll need to get my crocodile thing out. Wait, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Oh dear. Oh, there it is. So I'm just using a different punch. So, hi Sharon. How are y'all? Oh, there's 16 watching. That's awesome. Carol, it's just so pretty, isn't it? Right, these are the bigger, bigger ones or the smaller holes. Don't know. Let me see. Oh, that's fine. So I'm just going to cut out those holes. Done. Right, that's that. Put that out of the way. My desk's relatively tidy today. Okay, so here we go. Ta-da! Gorgeous. Right, okay, now. What I want to do is... I want to... I need to cut this down. Let's measure the width that the pocket needs to be. Now the height's three and a half because we're going to score it at half an inch so it's a three inch depth. However, we need to trim the, the width down a little bit. So whatever this measures, because I want it to be on the designer series paper. So that measures, um, I would say five and one eighth. Or let's just say five for quickness. So we need a half an inch and a half an inch. So it needs to be six inches. So I'm just going to take off that little smidgen. Not that much wastage. Right, I'm going to get... It will not be tidy on Thursday. Oh, God. I know. I'm looking forward to that, to be honest. I will get a wipeable mat out. <laughs> right, this is going to be scored at half an inch, left, right and bottom. Now, so that's at half an inch, so we're going to score it, well, side to the top, sorry. You need to give it a good press. I'm just going to flip it over to do the other one. You do it at half an inch or at three, depending on what's more comfortable for you. 
clip. Ooh. Right, so you can see that fine. Sorry, you will not be able to see um, the acetate that well on camera, I don't think. This is honestly this is the strongest acetate I've ever ever used. We get two 12 by 12 sheets in our pack. I'm just going to trim off the um, corners now because they're going to fold under. I can't say never thought of doing acetate in a pocket. I've done a couple of them um, before and they're quite good as long as you use strong tape. And then obviously you're going to be able to see the tape so you want to be able to put some decoration over that to kind of mask it right so let me just burnish that well just be careful because when you score in full dust it can get jaggy at the ends so that will go on there like so and then we'll make something go inside da, 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 da. Da, da, da. yes it's an acetate pocket my lovely it's cool right so I am going to use, you can use either tearing tape um, or red tape. I'm, I'm going to opt for some red tape just because it might come off. Now I'm just going to put it to the, um, I'm going to put it on squint. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Putting it to the edge, the inside edge. And that just gives it a little bit um flexibility when you're putting things in and out it's not going to lift the pocket as much and then the bottom bit this is really hard to see actually let me bend out the other way now i have washed my hands but with acetate you always get you always get um streaky bits of the, the natural um oils in your hands so, um, I don't know if you guys saw, but my youngest has joined, he's 11, uh, Ricky Jr. He's joined Thornton Bowling Club as a junior member. So, him and his friend joined and both of them are playing in the social versus members um, game today, which is good. So, it'll be nice to see him play, because I don't normally go down to what she sees, so... Right, okay, let's peel this off. Just be careful because, let me use my pokey, not my pokey tool. Let me use the jaggy bit on my take your pick tool, there we go. Don't want to be scoring the acetate. Like so, hi Pat, how are you? Da, 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 da. Get this off. And then I always put the lid on because I did a little accident with that yesterday. Right, and then all we're going to do is, I've got a little bit of smidgen of a room, so if I pop it on maybe an eighth of an inch, she says. I'm not putting weight glue on this though, because it'll get messy. Eighth of an inch. Like that. An eighth of an inch from the bottom and the side. And then you could go in and give it a good burnish. And you know what? Because it's on dark paper, you can't actually, you can't see the, um, the glue as bad as I thought. Depends what colour you're on. I think lighter colours that maybe show up, show up a little, um, a little more. Ta-da! And we have a little pocket. Now, the other thing I was going to do before I start decorating, I've got an excess piece here. I thought, why not use this um, for a little kind of bookmark? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up um, with the DSP. I'm going to get a little clip. I'm going to hold it in place. I'm going to punch some holes in it and use it like a little kind of like planner thing. I never actually thought about using my own window sheets to do that but I think it'll be fun. Um, can't say I lost 
top of my knife, so I had to put glue on top of the blue tack to hold it on. <laughs> Brilliant. Blue tack's great for a lot of things, isn't it? <laughs> right, okay, so. Um, let me get the small hole. <laughs> oh, right, that just flew into my face, so. Point it away from your eyes. Of course, because it's acetate, it's um, a little bit more dangerous than paper. I'm all over the hole. Can't see. Yep. That one just hit the wall. And that one just hit the wall as well. <laughs> right, okay. You can do this in your planner as well. Look at that. Nice, nice. Now, I know my corner rounder won't um, punch this out good. It's retired anyway. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to round it by hand because, like I say, freshly cut acetate is very sharp. So, I am making it Trisha proof. Has anybody ever had a wee... Morning, Karen! Has anybody ever had a... an acetate cut? It's like ten times worse than a paper cut. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm going to give this another burnish. Karen, we're just on the... Um... Oh, God, Karen's getting lovely ideas. Brilliant. Brilliant. Imagine... I've got I've got dried flowers. I've got a laminator as well. I found it by accident after um, looking for it for ages. Um, Karen saying yes, painful. <laughs> you could um, put dried flowers in here, laminate it, then punch it, and oh my god! Imagine some gypsophilia in here. Um, I might do a tutorial on that actually. Some gypsophilia in there, um, then laminated. It would look gorgeous. Talking about dried flowers, here's some I made earlier. Hi Susan, hi J hey, Carol. Um, so these I dried myself, this one, and the rose, I dried that myself, and that little thing, I think it's maybe getting a bit mouldy. And these, some daisies, they wear white, they look a bit blue now, but they still look nice. Yeah, there's a gypsophilia. And then my mother-in-law, did you know you could actually get paper flowers? Look at these. Now, let me show you. This is because I want to try and work my resin. I've played with it once since um, Christmas. Look at that. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear it. They actually feel like paper. So she chopped the heads off of them before they started to die um, and dried them a little for me and lots of lavender too. So I've got a huge amount of that. So it's all in a little box. And I'll stay in that little box till I find something to do with it. <laughs> but it's absolutely gorgeous. Right, okay, back to the wee album. Right, so if we bring in that page, I'm going to put my little bookmark on. Now, I think I might need to punch bigger, the bigger holes in them. So let me do that off camera because it's a bit wonky. Oh, ugh, Trisha, just poked in the eye. Put safety glasses on, people, if you're using a hole punch. Don't aim it towards you. <clears throat> do, 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 do those in the microwave. No, I just um, layered them up with kitchen roll or, or baking 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 paper and um put them in um in between two cheap bamboo chopping boards and a tied ribbon around them and then sat something really heavy on them to squish them down some of the roses um once i packaged them even though i punched holes in the cellophane bags um they'd went a bit moldy so that was they weren't quite dry enough so I mucked the ones up but it doesn't matter right okay so we are ready to decorate look at this little bookmark I know exactly what I'm going to put on that um however there will be another step to doing it because where is my box right, let, let me let me get all this materials out of the all my uh, not my materials my tools 
You can get a little mini flower press in one of the local bookstores without naming, naming any names. Uh, you probably don't want what I'm on about though. Right, I am going to put Amazing on here. Okay, I'm going to glue it on <clears throat> with my um, stamping seal. But what I'll need to do later on, because I won't have time today, is I'll die cut another white piece out and I'll stick it on the back just so that it hides any um, evidence of being glued on and stuff. So I think I'll do that. Yeah. And I've got plenty more of them to pop throughout the wee album. I know it's the same word, but it doesn't matter. It don't matter. Right, so let's do this. Now, if you have a silicon sheet, use that. I don't know where mine is to hand. Because, um, yeah, it's, I've got it. But it's just because I use tearing tape on my one of my platforms, it's stuck. <laughs> Right, so, oh. oh, bless you, honey. And that's why I love doing the, the lives. I mean, the, the um, inspiration we give each other is just awesome. Right, I'm just going to add, try and add my tear and tape on the best that I can. Sometimes it sticks a little. Um, you really should keep your glue tape uh, mechanism's nice and clean, but I'm just a bit lazy with it. I even had a bit of um, fluffy ribbon stuck in there, so that got caught in it, but it still works. Right, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my little pokey tool, and I'm just going to, um, where the tape overlaps any uh, gaps, I'm just gonna kind of peel it back in on itself. So that nothing else sticks to it. There we go. It's really sticky. Really is sticky. Right, let's do this. Right, oh, do I need to take that out to make sure it's lined up? Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, don't set anything on this in case there's excess glue. <laughs> but I was quite tidy with that one, so that's fine. Let me see if I can show you a better picture. These um, little mats, I did give the, um, give these out as customer gifts one month that I had good, some good sales. I was able to buy a few of those and gift them as a thank you. There we go. Isn't that funky? What you could also do is you could get a little label a label tab or something like that. Now this is the retired Stampin' Up! one. You could pop that on there as well. I think I'll do that actually because um, people might not see that it's a bookmark in there. Right, so I'm just going to carefully try and put this on. It needs it on both sides. And at least with it being on acetate, if you get it... Oh, I'm being a bit heavy-handed there. At least if you get it um, slightly on the wonk, you can fix it. Right. Oh, God. Butterfingers, butterfingers. Right, okay. Let's do this. So we'll pop one side down. As centred as you can get it. Yep. And then line it up and squeeze. How cute is that? Ooh, does that look squint? No, that's it. Ta-da! Awesome. Right, so that will look like, like that. Looks like a little people can draw a face on it and some shoulders. <laughs> so that is a little bookmark. Now you'll see, you can see some of the glue. I'm just going to burnish that down a little bit. Um, but like I say, I will finish it off by adding just the um, bottom layer of that double sentiment. Because I've got the dies here. Fabulous. 
Right, what time are we at? Half past ten. Oh, that's not bad. My husband's actually way over to the, the Hibs Park to do something on the pitch. I thought he was getting a day off because he's playing balls as well, but no, he's obviously going, went off early doors there. Um, right, I'm going to try and finish this gulp of coffee. How lovely is that, though? I do like that. Right, I think I will make some white tags because I got more white cardstock. I got more white cardstock. Got two packs and two packs of black. And then, oh no, that's not the thick stuff. That's the normal stuff. I need a bit of thick white. Thick, basic white. Which is just extraordinary for... Um, that's better. It's quite thick. Morning, Michelle. How are you? Right, I want to do, I think, three inch labels. Where's my trimmer? Three by four labels. Um, right, I'm just going to cut this at four and one eighth because I know that I'll get a card out of that other bit. So, what did I say? Four by three. I'm good, my lovely. No, four by two and a half, because they were, they were a bit chunky. If you have a, one of our um, tag topper punches, those go up to two inches, so you would want them at two inches. But I'm just going to cut these ones um, by hand. No matter how much I do it by hand, I always seem to get it on the wonk. So it was that four by two and a half. So I want some. I want some blue cardstock. I'm going to go with. No, I'm not going to go with Orchard Oasis. I'm going to go with Knight of Navy, which coordinates with the hues of hap um, the um, sun prints. Hues of happiness, that's not what I'm using. Right, so. There's always, always, always scraps at the front of these packs are great. Let's hope that the measure two and a quarter. So two and a... Oh, that's one and three quarters. Two and a quarter by... What did I measure them at? Are they four? Yeah, sorry, my mind's gone. Wonkies. Fabulous. I think I'll keep them as square tags, actually. Then I wouldn't need to bother. Uh, no faffing about with, what do you want to call it? Cutting the tops and stuff. Um, come on, out you come, cardstock. I'll cut some more. How many more do I need? So that's one. So I need another three. Um, so... Three quarters. My, have you tried using both stick micro dots for sticking scent mixture? Sure, they're so good. Um, yeah, we've got um, Wendy, we've got glue dots as well. Um, I actually use my glue dots for sticking this um mat down. Um, yeah, I, I am a all stamping up goody type lady. Because, because I'm a demonstrator, you see, I've, I've got to promote. I've not got to, but I promote ever stamping up stuff. But yeah, dots are, glue dots of any kind are amazing. So thanks for that wee tip. Right, okay. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Okay, I am going to show you how I make my little ring reinforcers now. I'm not rushing now, guys, because Hubby's not even back and he's got to get changed and everything as well. Right, so what you want is if you've got a little half an inch circle punch, unfortunately this is retired, but I'll never stop using it because it's just so handy. So I want one, two, three, I want four reinforcers. So I'm just a standard single... Um, Hole punch. I found that in my craft cupboard at the town hall as well. 
where I used to do my classes. So look at that when you cut them out. Fab. Fab, fab, fab. If you're clever the way that you punch them out in a bit of paper as well, you could end up with a little circle template um, stencil. Right. And we could put blue on the back. But I think these will do. I think these will do. What's everybody's plans then? Let me stick these down and um, punch holes in them and stuff. What's everyone's plans today? Oh, my dogs are barking. A neighbour, one, two, three, four, four doors up, has went out on his bike and they've heard that. I tell you, Jim and Shepherd's ears. Oh, I've done that the wrong way. Should have done the blue onto the white, but it's fine. Their ears are so uh, good. So, so, so good. Uh, yeah, blue onto white, Trisha. That's what we're doing. It's not rocket science this morning. <laughs> not made any boo 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 boos yet. <laughs> so you can't laugh at me just yet. Watch this, I'll have jinxed myself. I'll have jinxed myself. Right, okay. There we go. Right, I am just going to, off camera, punch some holes in the tops of these. So come on guys, what are you all up to this weekend? I know there's a little delay with the um, the comments coming up. Right, I'm just punching these off camera. I am doing lovely. You're doing lovely. Are you doing this with me, lovely? Is that what you mean? Da, da, da. Or are you doing nothing? Is that what you meant to write? It's came up automatically translated. <laughs> so it could be anything you've typed. <laughs> oh, Karen's in a fairy junk journal. Craft along. Nice. That's awesome. Going shopping in a bit. Might treat myself to a plan. Love it. Did you see the photos of my bedroom? I think if I can name... Um, change the decor without actually having to do any painting or that because I just I can't do it and it would just kill my Amy to be honest um, but I'm loving the greens Karen's not doing a lot, still in quarantine oh no can't believe you got it again Karen you take it easy my lovely though take it easy today take it easy this whole week Um. Looks lovely of Karen saying, oh, bless. So look at these. Really easy to make. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, my. I am. Yesterday, so we went to Ikea. I felt good. On the way, on the drive through there, I thought, oh, oh. Should I really be driving? I am really, really tired all of a sudden. Then I was fine. We got a coffee and stuff. And then on the way back, I was absolutely buzzing. Come home, sorted my room, and then hubby told me to stop overdoing it or I'll end up in bed all day today. Um, but yeah, it comes to a point, if you don't listen to your body, it, the adrenaline kicks in, so you're all jittery. And you take it, when you've got Amy, it, you take it as a false energy. But um, I've woke up. Uh, feeling not too bad today, so obviously the crash is going to come at some point, but not today, so that's good. Uh, can uh, McDonald's please? I'm not about that. Yeah, I'm not pleased about that, especially in a heat wave. Ooh, not nice. Not nice. Right, let me get some ribbon. You know what I did get at IKEA? I've got another two trees to hold all my stamping up ribbon because I'm starting to collect it now, which is good. Um, where is my white ribbon? Hmm. It's not there. Which means it must be somewhere on my desk. Or somewhere it shouldn't be. But I do have this starry sky that would go gorgeous. 
Um, you can actually free this as well. So let's um, let's put this on. So Steph says, so you rushed off. Um, I have a leak under the kitchen sink. No! Oh, God. I just had to wipe down all of my... Underneath my kitchen units because my, my kettle has been sticking on. And the steam has uh, ran down my the walls. And it has... Um, Cause the cause run marks in my paint, so I was not happy about that. So you can um, do this and just untwang a little if you want a nice little fairy princess type look. Now I've cut that one too long, but that's all right. So that will go in there. And the reason I put the pocket on is because I wanted to use that gorgeous um, paper. So at least when the tags are out, you can see um, how cute it is. Right, let's do a smaller one now. You could do your tags all different sizes and what have you. Well, our um, hubby's car that we're trying to sell, um, we uh, just... Notice that one of the suspensions at the back's broken. It's actually the mount that's came off the car. The suspension's not broken, but the bit that it's welded onto has. So I'm like, no, it'll need to be. We've got too much pain out as it is. Oh, it costs a fortune sitting there doing nothing too. Who's liking this paper, though, in the colours? Honestly, guys, if anybody would like to order some, just give me a shout. I will pop it in with my next order. Post it to you for a... Potentially a quid or two cheaper. Sometimes not, though, because if it's the full... Depending on the value, then it needs to be more... Um, a higher postage so that it's covered by insurance. I always um, say that you're, if you're ordering big, big, big things, like big parcels that are heavy, um, doing direct shipping is just going to cost you the same anyway. I don't mind, um, you know, if somebody orders a stamp set or something, I could post that out, recorded for um, £3.5 first class, see if you're paying £7, the £6.95, so... Oh, well, hang on a second, the postman's coming. Hang on, hang on. It's the delivery man. Oh, he's got my money. <laughs> Yay. Right, great. Sorry about that, folks. Normally, um, that pussy wants to just yap, but not today. Right, so we've got, what time are we at? Quarter two, I've still got some time. Is everybody still with me? 15, perfect. Right, so. So they're quite nice. You could put extra pockets in here. Now, I do have bigger ring binder things, so, um... If I want you to keep continuing with this, I would use the bigger ones. Right, this little notebook. Let me see what we can do with that quickly. Um, let me check what is the dice called that is in this suite. Do, 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 do. They are called Nature's Prints. Um, let me see if I can find them. I'll maybe die cut out a couple of wee bits to layer up. Um, now I've put all these backwards and I've got, they've got the names round the wrong way there's the amazing thanks dice oh look oh fancy that we have a white amazing I could stick that on the back of my bookmark these are fab right anyway nature's prints nature's prints you can use any of your dies that you have um, there's nature's prints right at the blooming start. 
Right, now I did break my big cutting machine. Hi Robin, how are you honey? So, we've got various little dies in here. So, most of them coordinate with the stamps, but we do always get um, standalone dies that you can use. I'm going to die cut out this gorgeous wreath and then I'm going to layer up, going to layer up the um, amazing on it. There. Fab. Right, and I'm also going to add a couple of these flourishy things. Don't know what the right terminology is for little flourishy things, but oh, excuse me, I've got a bit of a blocked nose. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hi, Audrey. Audrey's watching as well. That's good. Right. Dun dun dun. Oh. A bit dusty. Surely haven't um, die cut in a wee while. <laughs> in a few weeks. Not been that long. Right, so what am I doing? I started using new plates because my other ones were um, well past. Well, I could have kept choosing them, but it was getting to the point that my die, die cuts were sticking to the um, cutting plate. So, sprigs, thank you. Sprigs. Awesome. Right, is this even going to fit through here? Right, this is slightly bigger. So all I'm going to do, it will fit through, but what I'll need to do is I'll need to shift it over. So I'll need to run it through twice. And that's just to accommodate me because my A5 ones are working. Okay, so. Need a bit of card. Right, that's too big. Let me trim this down. My goodness, I'm getting so bad at answering myself when I'm talking. I bet I've cut it down too, too much now. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, I have. <laughs> what a wally. <laughs> oh, do apologise for the screaming there. Let's see what go on this one. Oh, look at that. Right, I'm going to pop it in there. I'm going to get some tape, actually. Morning, Len. How are you, honey? Hope you're good. Right, I'm just sticking this on. Because it's so nip it to the wee holes on that bit of paper. Right, so I'm going to take it off screen slightly. So I don't want to rip my mat. Right, so cutting plate is there. So I will run it through twice. So it catches both sides of the die. She says, over a little bit, right, do that again, it just fits folks, so make sure um, that you're not going to damage your die, make sure it's um, flush. So I need to now move that over, come on off you get. So I need to shift this over and get this side done. See? Where there's a will, there is a way. Like I say, just be careful though that it's not going to catch. There is just enough room for this bad boy. Right, I'll awesome. I'm going to have to buy a bigger machine because I do like it. Although it's heavier, I find it's... Um, a bit easier to um, die cut on if you've got kind of like strength issues. Right, let me get this away. <laughs> was that yesterday your eye up, Lynn? It was yesterday, wasn't it, hon? I'm so glad it went okay. And well done for being a big girl. I know you were frightened. Right, okay, so I'm just going to leave the washi tape on that. I don't think I'm going to use the little sprigs, actually. Because I've just kind of used up all my energy trying to do that. 
<laughs> um, and you sore, Lynn. You sore. Hi, Morag. Safe set X. Hubby's, who's a plumber's coming around to have a look? Oh, good. Good. Right, this just kind of falls out. Like so. Now, there's a tiny little bit that hasn't die cut. But it's not because the dies don't work, it's because I've used the smaller machine and this is for the bigger machine. But like I say, when there's a welder's way, I'm going to get my little snips. It's just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. There we go. Right. Isn't that gorgeous? So use your pocket to get rid of the... Any little excess pieces. There was only one there, so that's good. Lindsay and I sore and swollen, but relieved it's done. That's good. You just need to make sure you rest. Rest, rest, rest. Although it's quite, it's going to be quite hard to to rest your eyes, isn't it? Because everywhere you look, with your eye that's okay, your other eye is wanting to move as well. Right, okay, so let me put some mini dimensionals on this just so it's raised up slightly. Um, so I'm just going to dot them around the little wreath. Or if you don't want it as high up, you could use the just your normal glue or glue dots that aren't as um, thick, aren't as high in. Right. Now this bit here kind of needs a smaller layer, so all I'm going to do is trim a little bit off the edge and stick that on. You stick that on there. And I think that is plenty. So not only is this pokey tool Good for picking up the dimensionals. It's good for grabbing the backing of it as well. Honestly, see the um, the mess I've saved by just making sure I do that. Right, make sure your book's the right way. Dum -ba -dum -bum. And then we're just going to pop it on as centred as you can. Now, there's a little excess bit here that I need to cut off. It didn't quite die cut. But that's all right. Come on, off you come, Jeffrey. There we go. Love it. And then this one, we will pop up with big ones on the back, some wet glue on the sides, and then we'll finish the little bookmark and then we will be done. We will be done. Someone tell me where my dimensional, oh, there they are, right in front of me. Right, so. I am just going to utilise these little bits around the edge as well. Is that booklet going to be your journal? Well, a normal person would use it as a journal. Me, I will just sit it on the shelf and uh, pull it out and give it a little looking at when I want to touch something pretty. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, a normal person would journal in it. Definitely. Right, here we go. Um, should I add some ribbon? No. I'm going to keep it. Where do you think I should put it? Should I put it kind of here? I think at the bottom, me, but leaving a little gap. Right, I'm just going to do that. There we go. And of course, I need some more dimensionals because... Let me take a couple of the backings off of two first. Come on, don't be shy. And I'm going to stick them under here. Okay, so one under there. Oops. And one under here. Glory. I know, I'll make my books and no picks. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh, too late, Karen. <laughs> too late, my lovely. Right, so. It is nice, though, isn't it? 
You could layer this up with bling or punch out little hearts or anything you like. Anything you like. So I'm just going to pop it in here. Ta-da! There we go. Love it. Right, so let's fix this bookmark. Okay, so... Oh, thank you. I know, see the, the delay that you get on the... Um, the comments, that's the only thing about Facebook Lives. Right, make sure you're putting tape on the um, front of the die cut word backing. I'm sure I'm being too heavy handed with this guy. Right, good. All I want to do is make sure that there's no excess glue poking out. It's easy to move it though. That looks good. And, oh, <laughs> make sure it's the right way round. And then you can kind of stick it on like that. Ta -da! So you don't see no glue. Don't see no glue. Perfect. Right. I'm not sure what I want to do in the front, guys. Not sure what I want to do in the front, but um, I think we'll I'll think about that through the week and finish it off on Saturday. Um, Karen saying that does my hair in the gooey bits. <laughs> Carol's going with the clear pockets; they're quite cool. Um, imagine if you embossed it as well. If you wanted um, a pattern or something like that. Um, like I say, just be careful with gluey fingers. And I've left the, there's no, there's a wee gap with the tape because it naturally lifts um, because it is so thick. So that's why I put the tape to the words inside of the flaps. Um, that's quite funky, isn't it? Um, quite chuffed with that little bookmark. I just thought about that this morning. Oh no, it was last night when I was thinking, what am I going to do? I thought this would be a quick tutorial, but I'm, I'm glad that it's taken, taken the normal length of the time. So that's, that's fabulous. Well, I love it. I love it. I love it. If anybody is doing this, please remember to keep sharing progress photos of your gorgeous wee books as well. Um, because I'd like to see people having a wee go at stuff too. And uh, this will be available up on YouTube later. Now, my pocket's stuck here. I did have an issue with um, this pocket coming away. I glued the other sides. If you remember me saying, I didn't put um, big enough glue tabs on these. I, I do prefer a half an inch, but I thought I would get away with a quarter of an inch because these. this is just a 6x6 six six album. However... It has lifted away slightly. So make sure that your glue tabs are half an inch if you're going to replicate this at a later date. But I thought I wasn't going to waste the paper and redo it. Oh, thank you, Wendy. You're so kind. Definitely, Karen. Have a go. How funky. <laughs> and there's a the little bits of ribbon coming out from those um, tags. How how nice would this look um, as a Christmas album um i might do that in september actually another little series and incorporate some little notepads and stuff into it so it's more like a christmas planner type book thing um yeah so very good so we're nearly finished this which is fab and then i need to concentrate on finishing my other big humongous album that i'm that i've had about a month's break from um, using papers that are now retired because it's taken me that long. But yeah, um, definitely give it a week, old guys. Oops. Let me put my um, pocket back in. Not my pocket, my mat. Brilliant. Okay, if anybody's needing anything or looking for more information on any of the, the products I've used today or if you're thinking about purchasing the starter kit and joining our team and um, just let me know and I can have a wee 
um, informal discussion with you probably early next week now because I'm going to be shutting off as soon as this is uploaded to um, YouTube. Um, I will hopefully um, have time to make a dangle to tie onto the, the top ring so that there's a nice wee dangle hanging off of there. Um, yeah, so there's lots you can do. Okay, guys, I'll go just now. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. Um, hi, Ashley. That's me just finishing up, sweet. Um, and, yeah, that's available for catch-up on the page and also over on YouTube. Um, the issue with the last video, someone had said, was there music on? And I'd said no. But then I thought I had the radio on in the background in the other room for the dogs. So it um, shows how sensitive Facebook is. Um, I obviously heard that music, so it wouldn't let me download my video. Um, but it is on the, the, the business page here. So, Okay, folks, I'll see you later on. Wish me luck at the bowls. Because um, if we win, I could win like 40, 50 quid or something for more craft supplies. Cross everything. <laughs> okay, guys, have a nice weekend, and I'll speak to you all Sunday night or in a Monday, okay? Bye now. She says, but she's not pushed the finish button. <laughs>